Thank you, Rick DeVries, for asking about the carving pony I posted about yesterday. And uh, I thought we might just assemble it together on my workbench. So here's that bench. You can see it's just a regular old Harbor Freight bench. Uh, but I've added to it this leg vise. So it's basically a, an extra leg that you build. It's got kind of a bolt here, and you can uh, open it up by just turning this arm. At the bottom, it's got a couple of extra little blocks in there, so you can move it in and out farther closer to the bench, depending on how big the thing is that you're going to put in the vise. And then on the bench, I've got our pony. So uh, there's the long arm that uh, is going to articulate the vise. It's basically kind of a big wedge here that's got a little fin on the bottom that'll be held by that vise we're just looking at. And on top there's just a little uh, piece of kind of kind of uh, cushiony fabric that's going to hold wood in place. And then here's the head that goes on that arm that'll hold wood down. And then we've got a little tenon here that'll hold the head on and uh, Here's a little axle that'll go into a bearing on the uh, wedge we just looked at. So here's a little look at the uh, axle and the bearing. You can see the bearing here is just two pieces of pine that I've cut and uh, angled so that they hold up the ramp. And then just with a, with a gouge, I've made the inside here the shape of this axle. And I've done that for really four pieces of pine. There's one in front, one in back. Uh, the one up here in front is the diameter of the axle, but the one in back, I snug these together just a little bit closer than the axle, so it's a little smaller than the axle. And then the end of the axle here, I have uh, plane just a little bit so it's an oval, and that is the secret to the quick release system. And then also the end of the axle, I've put an angle on so it'll slip in a little more easily. Here we go. I'm going to try to put this wedge down into the leg vise. Tighten that up. There we go. Now we'll try and slip. <laughs> Doing this one-handed, I'm going to try to slip the leg down into the... There we go. You can see the leg's got a series of holes so you can make it higher or lower, depending on how big the piece is you're working on. Now let's see if I can get this in one-handed. Put that in place. Lift this up. Oh, come now. <laughs> okay, I had to take just a moment, but I got it started. I'm just gonna slide that on in. And then because of that oval shape was just kind of an eighth of a turn, that's going to hold itself in place. And now you've got this leg that swings. All right, now we'll put the head on the leg. And uh, I built it so it's reversible, kind of a, a long end and a shorter end. So you can put it on depending on what the shape of your work is. I'm just going to slip that head over the pin down it goes. And now the tenon to hold it all together. And that's, you know, like uh, slightly tapered, right? And the hole is tapered the same way. So that'll go in and it sits there so it overhangs a little bit on both sides. You could tap it in with a mallet, tap it back out with a mallet. And now the last step is to actually do some carving. I've got a um, birch branch here that I've split out with my uh, little carpenter's axe on my, on my, um, um, down here <laughs> on that. And so what you can do now is to just, if I can do it one-handed, you've got a vise to hold that in place and uh, take your spoke shape. You close the vise with your foot on that long arm, and now you could just shave off, carve this, and as its shape changes, you can reposition it quickly and easily on the, on the vise. That's the shaving pony. <laughs>